Just a decade ago, I weighed 360 pounds. I was miserable and stuck in a place I didn't know how to get out of. After a day of being made fun of and bullied, I came home, I plopped down on my bed, and my stomach was so large that it would obscure the television set that was in front of the bed. I looked at the ceiling and tears started to stream down my face. I felt hopeless, I felt desperate, but I just, something in me told me I shouldn't buy that. I knew if I didn't take charge of my life now, if I didn't stop procrastinating and telling myself I would do this sooner or later, that labor may never come. After that moment, in just two years, I lost 160 pounds of fat. My life was radically different. My motto is take charge. There's no excuse to be unhealthy and unhappy. Charles made the decision to turn his life around and help other people change their mindset to lose those unwanted pounds. He's now the author of the new book, Think and Grow Thin. Please welcome weight loss coach Charles D'Angelo to the show. <laughs> hey, my great honor to see story. You. Great story. Such a great story. And you can already see the positive attitude that you have, that, you know, and all the strength and courage to getting there. But tell us, what is your biggest secret to keeping weight off? Because you're really successful at this. The mindset how to recondition the way you think about food and the way you think about exercise. Because unless you learn to make that something you enjoy, it doesn't matter what you do scientifically, until you develop a healthy relationship with food, you continue to be in this defeat whirlpool, constantly struggling with something you don't need to struggle with at all. I keep looking at the, the hidden rope in your arm. <laughs> Look at that. I'm assuming you didn't have that I'll, rope there when you were 360. I want people to know that the pictures you see are real. I mean. If I got a little applause, I will be willing to show how my stomach really does look. So you okay, know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at this. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. All okay. right. Wait, 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 wait. I want to feel this. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's not as. Ooh, yeah, no, that's real. <laughs> President Clinton actually takes your advice as well, right? Well, President Clinton never sought my advice for weight loss coaching. What he did was he saw many of the folks that I'd helped his friends to lose weight. And most importantly, his foundation, the Clinton Foundation, does immense amount of work to really confront the obesity epidemic. I'm sure as doctors, you guys know, compared to 1974, the amount of overweight children compared to that year is up 258%. Yeah, it, yeah. it's unacceptable. 